<laughs> Let me uh get it ready. Hello, one, oh, three, four. Hey, Ashley. Okay. I am going to do a live, okay? A live unboxing. I got my hair from AliExpress and I want to show it to you guys and see what you guys think. Let me know. And uh, we're going to take it from there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the first eight people. I, I, I appreciate that, okay, because normally I don't get that many people so quick. Yes, yes, that's right. This is the box it came in, okay, and what happened was it came to my door uh, Thursday, but apparently I wasn't home. I didn't hear the door, and so they left a note, and I had to go pick this up from FedEx. However, I'm in this little town, and the FedEx was in Walgreens because I didn't know what it was. It just said FedEx, Walgreens, you need to go pick it up, okay? So I'm like, you know, I know they're not sending my prescriptions, okay, in the mail, okay, <laughs> without my permission. But it was this, okay? So... This is what it came in, the packaging. Now, the hair did have a net on it, okay? But you know, I had to try it on, okay? But before we go into that, they also sent me a letter on... When you receive the hair, this letter, then we think that you received the hair, okay? And we feel very, uh, appreciate your patience, blah, 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 okay? They sent me some lashes, and they pretty too. Yes, I'll be wearing those. And they did send me a head cap, okay? Now, I have a big head, so I'm not going to wear that, uh, the cap. And the reason I'm not going to wear the cap is because I was at work, honey. And, um, and I'm going to save the box to store my hair in. I was at work when I wore my other wig and I had a wig cap on. And I'm taking care of a customer. And I feel something on my head just easing up like this. And I'm like, Lord have mercy, don't be my wig. Jesus, don't be my wig. <laughs> So, you know, I played it off and pat my hair. Okay, my wig's still on, but I still feel this squeezing, okay? And I'm like, what? And I'm like, it feels like my wig is squeezing up. But what it was, was it was the cap underneath the wig, okay? I'm like, I'm uh-uh, no more. I'm not going to do that no more, okay? Yes, because, you know, I'm at the register. And when things mess up, like my makeup, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just a done deal. Okay? That's it. Okay, so let's go with this hair. You guys going to like this. Okay, look at it. Okay, this is how the wig comes. It's already styled for you. Okay? This is human hair, 18 inches, and it is ombre. Now, the only thing about the ombre is I wish that the, um, the, the dark roots were a little deeper, okay? Oh, and by the way, this is a 130 density. It cost me $99 and, I don't know, 58 cents? I know it was $99 and some change, okay? At the end of the video, when I re it's all said and done, I'm going to leave the, um, the link okay, in the description box for you guys. Now, what I liked about the wig is the same thing as the other wig, okay? It was so comfortable. So, I'm gonna put it on. We're gonna hold it down. Oh, wrong finger. There we go. And it has combs. Oh, I forgot to show you the combs because I feel the comb in there. 
I'm trying to tuck my little ponytail, okay? And then what I do is make sure that these sides, there we go, line up, okay? So I got my ponytail, it's a nice fit. This is what I don't like about wearing wigs, is all that hair in your face. Okay, so. Here we go. Now, I have a part right here. You guys can see that. Now, I should be able to just part this anywhere, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to just leave it like they have it. Now, I don't know because I've never gotten hair like this. I don't know if the hair is going to stay like this after I wash it. Okay. I hope so. I hope it's perm, but I don't know. So, yes. So, you guys let me know what you think. Okay, I'm trying to. That's what it looks like in the back. And I do have a comb. Now, the thing about this is, I'm loving it, okay? It looks like it's sliding back on my head. Ooh, all this hair. I gotta fix that. Okay, so maybe I'll do some got to be glued or, uh, cause I got a nice snug fit, but when I'm wearing it at work, the last thing I need is for my wig to be sliding back, okay? Now, I'm not gonna be wearing this wig right away because out here in Southern California, it is too hot for all that right now. Let me. Now it looks like, I'm gonna show it. See, oh, let me get you up close. It looks like the hairline is pretty much all the way um, plucked, okay? You can pluck it yourself, but this is the, the hairline. This is not my hairline. This is the hairline. Is that my hair underneath? Let's look at it. A little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is the hairline, and it looks like it's been plucked a little bit at the edges. That's what I'm telling you, the edges. And... It's ready to wear right off the box, as you can see. And this is what I'm liking about it. Because if I wash it and it curls back up like this, this is gonna save me a lot of time on curling. It's gonna save you a lot of headache because I see you young girls, you're out there, you like to curl your hair and stuff like that. And then the curls fall out, okay? Because that's gravity, okay? So if you can get it perm like this, then hey, which I'm pretty sure it is. Oh! excited <laughs> so you can get they have 150 and 180 density and they go up to 20 I think maybe 24 inches okay but this is perfect I am loving it let me know what you guys think oh okay Yes. You like it, Paula? You like it, H uh, Ashley? Yes. This is, you know, and the thing about it, too, is that this is easier for all of us, okay? $99, 18 inches, pre-curled, okay? Comes curled, comes styled, okay? Right out the box, human hair. 
So my thing is that um, you don't have to make your own wig, okay? Because it's much easier, okay? And it's actually, in the long run, will be cheaper if you just buy the wig, let them do it, leave it to the professionals, okay? And this is slap that wig on, okay? I'm going to slap my wig on literally, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is cut the uh, lace off. Ooh, I didn't bring the right stuff as usual, but I'm just going to cut it off and just be reckless because I'm reckless like that. The only thing I don't like is the back because it, 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 it's itchy. Okay, so let's go in. And I'm going to cut all the way up to, and I don't even care if I cut some hair. Oh, yeah. But we're going to get that line. Hopefully you can see, because see, you can see through the line, you can see that it's already pre-plugged. See that? Hey, Donna. Yes. Then I'm going to comb. <laughs> I'm going to comb it out because I already know that I didn't cut hairs. I already know. But they do have some baby hairs, some sideburn baby hairs. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got that out the way. And with a, I want to cut it close as possible because I see a lot of people and I see that net on their hair and they put makeup over it and you, it's, you can still see it. So let me get this peak right here. Let's cut this little peak off. Ooh. It don't have to be perfect because the next thing you know, you <laughs> you won't have no wig. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to cut this off too. I can't stand this. Okay, so there we go. Ooh. Sorry, folks, that was another video. Okay, so she has, uh, let's see. Oh, she's got three combs in the front, the usual, and one comb in the back, okay? So... I am going to put on one of these just for for right now because my hair is a hot mess. Do you get two in here? Oh, you only get, oh, you get two. Okay. Now for my big size, my big head, I usually use the, um, the knee highs. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you guys, I even shaved, okay, 
uh, not today, a uh, few days ago, I shaved my sideburns right here. I just shaved them off, anticipating, okay, this unit. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, people. Now, Oh, you know what? I didn't cut the other ear. No, nope, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. There we go. Hey, Marilyn. Now I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave this link down there for you, okay? So for those of you guys who are hesitant, like I am, believe me, I took a chance, just like I took that other wig, Okay, I took a chance. So I'm going to leave the link for you so that you can go to this link and uh, and purchase your own unit. Okay. Now, you don't have to get an ombre. You can get it all one color. Okay. And then I have to slide this back. Yes. I'm going blonde. Well, actually, no, I'm not going blonde. It's just the ombre. I want an ombre. Something different, but no. Uh, no, not that I know of. You will not see me in all blonde hair. Uh-uh. Everybody's doing it, but... um. Okay. Woo, get myself situated there. Okay. Now the thing about this hair, oh I don't have a um is because my my edges are showing through and I would take my edges and I would slick them up into the um uh oh trying to brush. I need to slick them into the edges of the wig and give it a natural look. See how it is right there? And that's just slick it up, okay? Yes, Bubbo. Give it a natural look. Yes. Mm hmm. And do it in there. Now, my head is big, so it's sliding. I feel it. It's sliding. So, what we going to do about this is we just going to take a I don't have a headband but I would put a headband around it, okay? Around it and wear it like I I wear my other wig. But I am totally happy. I'm satisfied with the unit. Ooh, I'm glad I brushed that out the way. See, I got a lot of hairs that are not in my face anymore. Okay, can you see that part? Now, this part, I don't know about this part. If it's permanent, if it's the way they, they did it, okay. But, um, yes. And this has baby hairs as well. You can see, okay, it's got, it's got static in it, okay.
Yes. But I don't like the blonde, to be totally blonde, I don't like that look on me. I don't like it, okay? To me, it makes me look older. However, okay, yes. Now, I can't dye this. I can dye it. Mm-hmm. Now, who was that? That was somebody. Hey, Monique. Both. I'm here and I'm into my hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let's check out that length again in the back. So I like it. Some makeup. Y'all won't be able to tell me nothing. Nothing. Yes. Why are you taking the palette back? Oh, because you said no more palettes? You bought the palette. Even though you said no more palettes. So you're taking it back because you said no more palettes. So why did you buy it? Okay, Monique. Mm -hmm. You better stop smoking that stuff, girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, what, what was the name of the palette? Now, this would be really nice if I could just pull this out and flick it up. Let me do it. Let's do it. Where's the comb? I would hold it down with a, a bobby pin, okay? And you could pin, uh, I could pin this behind my ears and you wouldn't even, you wouldn't see it. Gotta have a black bobby pin though. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, but I got to wear some makeup on, honey. Okay. But I'm liking the hair. And, uh... That's it, okay, on the hair. Put everything back in the box. But this is where I definitely would store my, my, my boxes of hair. And I don't know, I may get another wig, I may not, okay. Um, I got so much, so much hair, I don't even wear it, okay. But I would wear these because they're more of a custom fit on my head and they're more comfortable, they're breathable, okay, than all that glue that I use. But you know, hey, mm -hmm. I'm liking it, I'm feeling it. The big white palette everybody like. Is that the Jaclyn Hill palette? That white palette? Um, that big white palette, that, that one that everybody was going crazy over. What That was Jaclyn Hill's first palette, wasn't it? I got my vitamin C serum, okay, and um, I'm liking it, and we're also going to do a video. If you guys want to do it live, I'll do a live video on the vitamin C serum, okay, and there's certain things like um, peptides and stuff like that and products that contain peptides that you should not use with your vitamin C serum. Well, all the colors you got are in other Morphe palettes, okay? But that one, you just wasn't feeling that. Take it back. But that was the, I think that was the first one. Everybody was ranting and raving. That's the one I wanted to get. So, Merlin, you still in pain, girl? Leave her other palette. Look at it. She ready to fight for her palettes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not going to argue with you, okay, on them palettes, okay, because I'm guilty of the same thing. And that's the thing. All the colors are in my other palettes, and I still keep buying them mm -hmm. because I don't want to have to look for the other colors. That's why. Wow. Now, do you have to go for an operation or something like that? Or do you have to do pain management? And I did a video, a cooking video on my other channel, and I'm going to start uh, uh, doing more videos on that channel, maybe less videos on this channel because I need to bring that channel up. I need to bring subscribers up. I need to bring views up on that channel so I can connect it with this channel. Okay. Yes. Oh, so you didn't like it from the first place. If you don't like it in the store, that's one thing I, I, I found out. I don't care what it is. If it's hair, if it's an outfit, if there's something you don't like about it in the store, leave it there because it's not going to, it's not going to make any difference when you take it home. As a matter of fact, yeah, you're going to be disappointed because you, it's still, it's, you still, yeah. So just leave it there. You don't like it? Leave it there. Something not, you're not feeling that palette? Leave it there. Oh, you're under pain management. That means that you're going to always be in pain. So now you have to manage it. Oh, rheumatoid arthritis, girl. 
Okay, so you have rheumatoid arthritis, which is really painful enough just hearing the words. I have arthritis, but I don't have rheumatoid, okay? And I am so thankful. I feel for you because not only is rheumatoid arthritis very painful, it's crippling. Life is Anna. Life is Anna. See when I type something in? Oh, wait. I'll give you right here. There it goes. Right there, Paula. Right below you, you're going to see Life is Anna. That's me. Yeah. Are you, can you still drive? Because I know my friend's auntie, she's gotten to, her, to the point where she can no longer drive. Wow. Do you be smoking that weed? Because you know weed is part of pain management. Because I know if I have rheumatoid, I said if I have rheumatoid arthritis, I'm going to get me a weed card. Okay? End of story. I'm getting a weed card. Oh. Yeah, that's very crippling. So now you, my hair has slid back some more. Let me see. So what I'll probably do is, oops, is push this wig up front. Okay. There we go. There we go. So it will have less, uh, yeah. And you can't see the back, so you don't know it's lifted up in the back. Now, are you eating pineapples? Because I know pineapples are anti-inflammatory. And you can get a license to grow it, too. Mm -hmm. You sure can. The longer I wear it, the more I feel it, okay? The wig, you know. Ooh, $400. Girl, you were supposed to go to the, no, you went to the wrong people. You went to the, you went to the legal people. You supposed to go to the knockoff doctor for $50 and get you a weed card, girl. Yeah, pineapples is strong, but I heard it's a good uh, uh, anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. You know, these ladies that get these butt jobs and um, get the liposuction, they tell them to eat pineapples. Mm -hmm. Dog, what you, okay, look, I be at Ray Ray's. Okay, I'll be at Pookie and Ray Ray Shaniqua's. Okay, I'll be at the weed store. Okay, hey, I will be there. That's right. And the police better not tell me nothing. Okay, don't y'all mess with my Ray Ray. That's what I would tell them. <laughs> don't y'all mess with my Ray Ray. <laughs> Woo. You ain't, I'm not going to jail either. Okay. I'm not going to jail either. I tell the police I got a weed card and I need my weed. Okay. Don't be arresting Ray Ray and Pookie. Not when they over here. Matter of fact, okay, yeah. Y'all come on in and sit down. <laughs> Woo, I'm telling you, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look at Snoop Dogg smoking the weed on TV. He's smoking it right there in front of you. And don't nobody say nothing. 
Don't nobody say nothing. Don't ask me what I'm smoking. Don't talk about what I'm smoking. And don't even look at me smoking. Check him out. When he be on TV next time. Yeah. Well, I don't know why they would lock you up. Okay. Say, they ain't locking people up for smoking cigarettes, but they're going to lock you up for smoking some weed. Okay. You know, that's, 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 uh, that's life. Okay. We, we're, we're backwards. We're backwards. We are so backwards. What's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. Oh, you live in an apartment. Oh, okay. Well, you know what too is that they were talking about the, um, the air system, okay, and everything when they're in those buildings like that and that smoke goes through the, the ventilation. Uh-huh. Somebody around here, and I think it's my neighbors. Well, I only got one neighbor, okay, but sometimes I smell, I smell cigarette, okay, and uh, yeah, uh, about a certain time late at night, I'll smell the smell of a cigarette, okay? And I figure somebody's smoking. And yeah, and, and that's the house next door. So yeah. Yeah, Monique, they do, but they're, they should, they don't. They're not supposed to. But the thing about it is the smoke gets into the ventilation system, okay? Especially the cigarette smoke. And that tar leaves a film. Okay, I used to be a smoker and my walls would be yellow. It's like, why are my walls yellow? My friend was telling me that's tar. I'm like, oh my God, that's tar. Yeah, from your cigarettes, from the smoke. You, I'd smoke in my house and I was like, oh, I stopped smoking, told my husband he couldn't smoke in the house. Okay, but the weed that they sell at the dispensary, they also smell... Um, they also sell weed that you roll up, right? And if they sell weed that you roll up, how they going to know that you didn't get that weed from Pookie and Ray Ray? They ain't going to know the difference. You put it in your pill bottle. Mm -hmm. Girl, don't listen to me and Monique. We'll have you locked up. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. You got a license, okay? So even though they shouldn't be locking you up because you're, you're smoking it for reasons, okay? Well, you know, a lot has changed. Yeah, well, you did this. So what if it has a different smell? Okay, that's because you don't buy the skunk weed. You don't buy the skunk weed. You buy the good shit, okay? You get that indica, okay? Mm-hmm. That sesame and, ooh, wee. Mm-hmm. But if you get that skunk weed, everybody know that's uh street weed. Look at AC say, look at these fools. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I don't know nothing about that. Dismiss everything I said. Mm -hmm. Yes. And did you know that the vitamin C serum, okay, when you start off using that vitamin C, oh, my wig is squeezing. Okay, wait, we're going to have to do something with this, see. There we go. But I'm going to put some pins in it. You know, you just wait, honey. Now, it. It's up back here, but it can actually come down. But no, we're gonna leave it up. Yes, boo boo. Mm hmm. I feel like Miss America. Yes. The one you have, you got some weed that don't smell like weed. Ooh. What kind of weed is that? You sure that's weed? How you gonna know you can't smell it? Girl, see, they didn't took the smell off the weed. That's the whole purpose of smoking some of the weed is the smell.
They said that when you uh, do the vitamin C serum, okay, it takes a while to see uh, the effect, okay? And by the time um, it takes effect, you can't see nothing because now you didn't, you didn't got used to it. But the vitamin C, okay, what they, I learned about the vitamin C, some of the uh, things I've learned is it does take a while to take effect because you got to remember that the vitamin C is healing all, the, replacing all the skin cells and healing the skin cells, the damaged skin cells, okay? And then if you add collagen, now collagen is the glue so to speak, that holds the skin together. It is the lacticity, okay, in your skin. That's what the collagen is. It's helping with my skin, and I'm feeling a difference. I'm seeing a difference, but I've been using the, um, the, um, the aloe vera, too. Yeah, but you know, they have those collagen vitamins. They were talking about taking those collagen vitamins because that's what the collagen is. It is the glue, okay, that firms up your skin and holds that skin together and tighten your skin up. That's what the collagen does. So, okay, I might take me some, I don't know. Okay, next thing I know, I start having heat strokes, okay? Hot flashes, hot flashes because... uh It'll set off my hormones. Okay. Yes, Bobo. Yes. Give me some slick up right here. Mm -hmm. I'll be all right. Yes. But um, I am going to, because the, um, and oh, and then uh, what I was saying was that when you use the vitamin C serum, okay, if you just start off, like I just got mine, okay, you're not supposed to use it every day because that stuff is strong. You're supposed to let your skin get used to it. You're supposed to use it every other day, okay? And another thing, okay, is it's good to take the vitamin C, uh, to put the vitamin C on in the daytime because it does help the UV rays, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what they say. Oh, you're going to do that caffeine facial? Oh, she's going to wake that skin up. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Oh, and I got a video coming up, too, that I've already uh, filmed, too, for this channel. And it's going to be um, um, the, the, the uh, beauty boxes. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, okay, if you've, have you paid any attention. At Target, they have these $4.99 beauty boxes, okay? They're $4.99, and you get... Free samples, okay, $4.99 is $5. You get $10 worth of coupons in the box itself. So that's $10 worth of coupons. And, okay, it's not just a dollar coupon here. It's $2 and $3 coupons. I've been, you know what? I had to put some of that, um... Neutrogena, you know that bottle of Neutrogena oil comes in a tall, slender bottle. I'd run in there and go get it, but um, it's 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 body oil or something. It costs about twenty dollars. I got some of that. Uh, I still have some of that. It was on sale. You know, I ain't gonna pay twenty dollars, but um, that I've been using that. Uh, and I've been using my bio oil because it's, yeah, it's starting to get cold. My skin is starting to itch. I don't know why it's itching so bad right here around my ankles. Well, you don't have to just use baking grease. You can use olive oil. I mean, olive oil and coconut oil, literally. 
out your cabinet, pour some in your hands, and put some on there. Mm hmm Yeah, because those are thinner oils. The bacon grease is a thicker oil. That's why when it dries, it, 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 it turns white because it gets thicker. But the olive oil um, is thinner. Bacon drippings are really good, good to recycle because you can put them in your greens, girl, in your greens and in your beans. Okay? That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, okay, speaking of uh, videos, I got my magnetic lashes, okay? Where did, matter of fact, I got magnetic lashes from AliExpress. The magnetic liner with the lashes. Oh, yes, boo-boo. Okay, so I will be on here, uh, let's see, tomorrow. Um... Yeah, I'll come on here tomorrow afternoon, okay, around 2 o'clock and uh, try those on and do a makeup look because um, I want to see if they really work because, you know, I only got them for $3, you know what I'm saying, okay, and $3 compared to the $15, that's a deal, okay, that's savings, Almond oil is good. Now, I'm going to tell you something about almond oil. Almond oil is really good for your hair. But, okay, you don't put it in the shampoo. You put it in, well, you can put it in the shampoo, okay? What I'm saying is you don't leave it in your hair. Almond oil, it's real good, and it smooths down the cuticles in your hair. Gives your hair that nice, smooth look, okay, uh, and feel. But I put it in my, um, would put it in there with my conditioner and stir it up with my finger. And I would put it in my hair and then I would rinse it out. Mm-hmm. Almond oil. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't heard of that. But, you know, see, there's a lot of products that they have uh, overseas in these other countries that are not legal over here. And they have that for, uh, yeah. Oh, you can get it in Walmart. Well, if you can get it in Walmart, then what's she going to go to Australia for? We're going to look it up right now. Australian Dream Cream. Is that what's the name of it? Australian There it is. Dream Cream. Walgreens and Walmart. Okay, so we got reviews on this Dream Cream. Okay. It's not that expensive. It's pricey, but it's not that pricey. What we got seventeen dollars, uh, uh, basically eighteen dollars. Ooh, have do you use cortisone? Yeah, I see it. They got it at uh, Amazon, Rite Aid, eBay, Walmart. Uh, yeah. Now, at Walmart, it has four stars. Yeah, I would try it. Let us know how it works. Yes. And this is at CBS Pharmacy. Uh, 
Let's see how recent these reviews are. Okay. I like to look at the dates. Okay. On these reviews. So it got four and a half stars out of five. One person had a complaint. Okay, so you might got a little something here. Excellent pain reliever for arthritis in the hands. There you go, right there, Merlin. So two is... Oh, you got to watch out how much you put on on your on your um hands. You know that girl that died from um she died uh she died I think in her sleep or something and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. Well, what it was was that she was a uh, athlete in school, okay? And she was rubbing that cream on her skin and your skin is an organ. It absorbs that stuff, okay? Well, she Pretty much OD'd on it, okay? Because she was rubbing it, she was rubbing her legs down and rubbing her legs down. She was always rubbing her legs down with that stuff, and it proved to be too much. So just be careful, yeah. And um, two, the thing about pain is that you got to have different uh, sources of relief on your pain because the pain gets used to it, okay? So you got to switch up to something else. You see what I'm saying? Or you're going to use more and more and more, and it's not going to really do anything for you. So I would switch whatever they're giving you. I would take it you know, in my hand, but I wouldn't keep using it. I would put that on the back burner and use something else. So when that wears off, then I can go back to what they gave me from the clinic. <laughs> yes, girl. That's what I heard. Okay. That's what I heard from, um, when I was reading up on it, when my, um, my husband, um, was suffering from cancer and stuff and certain these certain uh, medications and stuff like that, uh, especially for pain. OK, you get used to it. You get used to it, you know. And I mean, now the marijuana, that's just going to numb everything. All right, you get some good weed. Mm -hmm. OK, if you in pain, you probably forget about it. Okay, if you get the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But like with anything else, you bring you build up a tolerance. Yeah. Mm hmm. So check it out. Check it out. Let me know how it works out for you. You know, because I, I, you know, I need to hear. I be having cramps in my legs. OK, I'm going to look up that dream cream. No, I haven't. I haven't heard from them at all, at all. No. Mm -mm. I am still. Uh, um. Cleaning up the uh, the leftovers, so to speak, okay? I still got to find an electrician, okay? My goodness, I'm not used to this out here. You know, every, you got to call people don't want to work. I also, the, um, the uh, neighbor next door, his son, he said that his, um, his uh, not the neighbor's son, it would be the neighbor's grandson, but I seen the neighbor's son outside and they live a few houses down, okay, not too far from their dad here. And he was talking about the son wanted to earn some money and stuff and he was telling him about doing yard work and he was probably, oh, no, nobody's going to want to... Um, you know, hire him. I said, shoot, he come help me. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go knock on the door because I know because the truck is in the driveway. So you know which house to go to. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, no, they don't, you know, um, 
I just let it be. I just let it be. After all I've been through and stuff, or we both have been through, but the thing about it is, you know, you, you know, you're like, you're licking your wounds. Okay. Well, I got wounds too. See, and I don't think they acknowledge that, but you know, it's neither here or there, but no, they don't reach out to me. Oh, and remember, uh, uh, that was the agreement. Okay. In the court order that I didn't, I stayed away from them for a year. Okay. Now I don't know when this is up. Okay. But it will be over with soon. Uh, maybe this month. I don't know. Okay. He said we didn't have to come back to court as long as there wasn't any discrepancies. He says we didn't have to come back to court. He'll just dismiss it. Okay. So, uh, it is what it is. I haven't uh, had any contact with them. I haven't attempted any contact with them because uh, I'm not trying to violate any orders. But I also didn't agree with uh, they're trying to charge me with a restraining order and all that kind of stuff. I, I wasn't going for that. So anyway, uh, if they want to reach out, they will have to reach out to me. I will not be reaching out to them. And it's not because uh, uh, I'm being funny or anything like that, but it's because you put this into place. You're the one who wanted me to stay away from you. So I would think that if you're ready to reach out, then you'll reach out. You know, I don't want to overstep my bounds. So they could try to accuse me of something else. So no. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is. But I'm going to get off of here. Okay. I got to go fix something in my air fryer and um, some snacks, something to munch on and uh, chill out. My cat, oh, they pretty much dried off. Everybody in the house had baths. No, you don't, but that's what they do because they know they know that's what's important. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to um I don't want to get into uh the with the grandbabies, okay? For the simple fact that I don't want them to use that as a tool because that is what they have been doing and I don't want them to be used as a tool. And so I just I just don't even get into it. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't get into it. Yeah. Because I felt like it did not even have to be like that in the first place. Okay. But it is what it is. God knows what he's doing. I'm giving it to God. He knows what he's doing. He knows what's in the details. I don't. Yeah, but see, the thing about it is it's it's okay to reach out. Yeah, I feel that too. But with the way that they act and want to collect evidence, okay, and, and accuse you, yeah, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So with that said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my other channel, Life is Anna. I'll be on there too because I'll be doing the cooking videos. And I'm going to be getting my Instapot. So we finna hook things up, honey, okay? Because it's all about the speed, okay? We're going to be doing that speed cooking, okay? That speed cooking and that no heat cooking. That's right. Mm -hmm. So with that said, stay blessed. Bye.